Hello, now. <laughs> this is uh, Javier without the microphone. So I've been talking here for the for the last minute, and you guys haven't heard a word, right? It was a secret, actually. So I'm so sorry. So what? Let me start over in this the first webinar of of Tweetbinder and why we are celebrating this webinar. So what we want to do with this series of webinars, this one will be hosted by me. The next one will be hosted by my, by my colleagues, my amazing team here in, in audience. And what we want this to be is a webinar, an open webinar. You know, we have, we have re this week we have been preparing this webinar. We have collected like so many questions, so many questions from you guys. Thank you very much. Ways to improve to Binder. Thank you very much. And we want to, in uh, with a case study, to show you all the things that you can do with Tweetbinder in this first webinar. So there are many things to be done in Tweetbinder. You know now Tweetbinder belongs to audience. Audience has an amazing set of tools and platforms that complement Tweetbinder like in, in a way that you are going to be to be amazed. And now what what I want to to remark is that this webinar is an open webinar. So how you can uh, participate in in this webinar in this this is going to be easy in terms of um, how you can connect to us. But the first thing that you can you can do is to mention us on on Twitter. So uh, I have uh, Twitter open here now all the all, all the messages are like, we cannot hear you. Now you can hear me. So if you mention us on Twitter or you DM us or you uh, send me a, directly a, an email, javier.abrigo at audience.com, then we can build the next webinar or we can participate in this one with your questions. I have the Twitter open here in another, in another screen so we can answer all your questions. So let's go for it. Remember, this is not me talking all the time. This is not me talking. This would be super boring if I am the only one talking in this, in this webinar. This is open to you. This is going to be available in YouTube as well for, for the reply. And if you have any questions, please use these ways to, to connect. I have uh, Twitter open in this, in this tab. So, uh, what we are going to do today is answering all your questions. We are going to be uh, showcasing and analyzing a hashtag. Okay, you know a hashtag? Yeah, we are going to, to see how we can analyze a hashtag and how we can get the best out of Tweetbinder. I know you, many of you know already how to analyze a hashtag and you will be like, oh, what are you going to teach me now? We have released new things that are going to amaze you that we are going to show here. and. We, we want to show things that are not very visible sometimes for, for the public. So let me introduce to you all this hashtag. This hashtag, I don't know if you guys know, is Africa Tweet Chat. We are going to be doing the demonstration with this hashtag. This hashtag is a hashtag by our good friend Janet, that Janet has been like hosting this amazing Twitter chat. Twitter chat used to be a big thing in the past also as well. And this is very good that this kind of chats are still alive on, on Twitter because what they do is like they bring a host. I've been listening to this reply here of the last um, the last space with the, with the Africa Twitch chat. And it's amazing because in a way they are participating with their audience through Twitter with a hashtag. So, what we are going to do is we are going to analyze this hashtag. So we are going to use Tweetbinder to see the impact of this hashtag and the impact of the chat. So let's imagine that let's imagine that Africa Tweet Chat was our client and we want to present a professional, super professional report to our client, the Africa Twitch Tweet Chat. Okay, so what we are going to do is we go to Tweetbinder and what, what we are going to do, we are going to use the historical 
tweet search. And here we have a question from Hassan about this. Okay, this is important. Uh, Hassan was asking, and it was to me personally through email, how the Twitter historical reports work and how the balance of tweet of tweets work on Tweetbinder. Okay, so what we are going to do now is we are going to create a historical report and we are going to answer the questions of Hassan. So ha, this is like two for one. So first, what we need, what we need to do is like we are going to get the hashtag here. We are going to copy the hashtag. This is very easy. I know you guys know this, but we're, and we are going to paste it here. Okay. Once we paste it, we press intro, enter, and then we have already this ready to analyze. Since we want to analyze the real impact of the chat, what we are going to do too, this is never like too much, we are going to analyze also the mentions to this Twitter account. You see here, they use a hashtag, but they also have a Twitter handle. So what I'm going to do, the Twitter handle is the same one, I'm going to add the Twitter handle also to the search. And let's see what happens, okay? So I'm going to write here, Africa Tweet Chat. And now what we are going to do, guys, is we're going to analyze all the tweets containing either Africa Tweet Chat or mentioning Africa Tweet Chat, okay? Remember that now we are using the enterprise APIs of, uh, of Twitter and the V2 API of Twitter. So the stats that we are going to get, the full fidelity of the data is going to be amazing. It's, I'm so in love with these uh, stats. Since this client wants to have like historical data, let's select data since, let's say, for example, September, the 1st of September of 2023, okay? Let the last two months to see how the chat was doing, okay? You can put a final date if you need. We, we want until today, so we are not going to set anything, any language. And we are going to include retweets. This is important because, as you know, you can exclude now retweets or you can include only retweets in the in the report. We are going to include everything, original tweets and retweets because we want to see the real impact. And the mentions, we are going to put the maximum is 35,000, okay? So the, the important thing here is like the historical report, they have a limit of 35,000 tweets. So if we just don't touch this, it will hit the limit or it will get 100% of the tweets. Okay, this is going to take a while to collect. We will have to uh, to click here on create, but since uh, I can prepare for this, I have the report ready. So if we click here on create, it will create the report. I already did that. So what we have here, what you can see here is the report or of Africa tweet chat hashtag or Africa tweet chat mentioning the account. So whatever tweet it's going to it's going to appear uh, in this in this report the good thing about this is that we want to analyze the whole impact of the hashtag so what we have here is all the tweets remember we are using an api that is full fidelity full fidelity professional apis of twitter so we are not going to get any tweet out you know so we are going to get 100 percent of the tweets I'm not going to go through all the stats in this in this report, but answering the question of Hassan, how many reports Hassan can you create as this one? You can create as many as you want, but you have a limit of tweets in your plan. Okay, this is a very common question. So imagine that if you have 100,000 tweets in your plan, you after this report, let's say 2,000 tweets, you will have 2,000 tweets less in your balance. And during the month, you can create as many reports as you want. This is a great, huge, amazing, among us change in Tweetbinder, as you know, because we were not able to do this in the past. So now you can create as many Twitter historical, historical reports as you want. And the balance is the only thing that will limit your subscription. And of course, you can use the free version that gives you 200 tweets for free. So Tweetbinder is, is great for this, so don't worry. Several things that we want to, to see here. Uh, you, you know all the stats that Tweetbinder gives in this. I'm going, if you go down like this, you know, it's like pff, so many, so many stats, so many stats. This is Janet, by the way. You, you should follow her on, on Twitter. She's super interesting, very good content. So you have a lot of things here. Let me go up a little bit 
to show you one thing that we just released a few days ago. It's here, the total number of impressions. And this is, uh, I didn't receive any question about the impressions for this webinar, but this is a question that we have received like all over the history of Tweetbinder. So what are the real impressions of a hashtag? This uh, 428,000 impressions is the total number of times the hashtag was actually seen, really seen. This is not potential impressions, potential impact as we used to, to give. The potential impacts are here. This is the actual number of impressions. So let me go back to Twitter a little bit. If you see here, for example, this tweet of the Africa Tweet Chat was seen 166 times. These are the impressions, these impressions here. Okay, so if we go back to the, to the report, we zoom all the impressions of all the tweets and you, what you have here is the total impressions. Of course, it, this changes everything in Twitter analytics because if you want to analyze the impressions of one account, you can do it now with Tweetbinder. Well, I'm going to go through the advanced, advanced comments and operators now, but if you see here, if you have a sponsor, and you want to say, if you put your brand name next to my brand name, you are going to get almost in two months, half a million impressions, okay? So it's very good to, to create some kind of ratios between the potential impressions and the total impressions. This kind of, of metrics are super, super interesting because what you are going to get is the, re the real number of times people saw your hashtag, okay? So people saw your hashtag. This is not, this is not people actually, this is number of times people saw this hashtag. And we could go through all the stats, but several things that I wanted to highlight in this, in this report that we, we didn't have before and now we have. One thing that is very important for me is the engagement study. By the way, if you see here, you can see where the, where the chat was organized, right? Every peak is one of the, this, this is amazing. So this is engagement study. This is going to give you, this is not very, very pretty maybe, but for data analysts like you, I'm sure this is super interesting because what you're going to see here is the breakdown of engagement, impressions, likes, retweets, quotes, replies, and bookmarks. So what you see is like, this 1,000, almost 2,000 tweets generated 4,000 retweets, 1,000 likes, 100 quotes, 600 replies to those tweets, to those tweets. So this is the engagement. If you participate in this, in this hashtag, this is more or less what people get in average per tweet or per contributor. This engagement study is for you to get the best out of it. You know, you will decide what is important for your client. For me, if Janet will be my client, Africa Tweet Chat, I will say, you know, this is a chat. You want people, you want people to get involved. So look for impressions, look for likes, and also look for, let me go up a little bit, original contributors. You know, 307 people. This is amazing. So this is a chat that 300 people in the last two months have participated in. This is this is actually a very high number. We have 400 people tweeting or retweeting and also 300 people tweeting, just tweeting, adding content, you know, adding content to the hashtag. This is for me is uh, amazing. So what you see here, I'm going to share this report with you all at the end of the, of the webinar. So don't worry, you, you will have it. But let's do one thing that not many people know in Tweetbinder and I think it's very important, okay? So if we go down here to the activity chart, what you see here is like we have different peaks here in different chats, in different days. In mind that you want to focus only on some specific days because for whatever reason, it doesn't matter, right? So let's focus since 7th of September to the 17th of September, more or less, okay? So what we can do is like if we go up, we can change the dates of this report. We can tell the, we can tell Tweetbinder, hey Tweetbinder, please, can you give me a start since the, let's, let's make it the 8th of 
of September to the um, this start date end date to the um, let's say 16th for example okay so very important and this is very important very important I didn't have any question about this but I think this is very important if we accept what we are going to do is to cut this report to what we call a slice this report you are not go you are not going to get these retweets back okay so it's very important that if you do this you know that you are not going to get these retweets back these tweets back so my recommendation my recommendation will be first to clone the original report how let me go back let's cancel if we go to my reports here and we select this report I we have here all the reports this is the report that we are seeing if we click here and we click and clone we are going to create we are going to create a copy of this report so the good thing is that we will not we will not be um, deleting tweets from the original report and before anybody ask this is not consuming tweets from your from your balance okay so we have here the copy of the report if we go here we see an a new report that is exactly identical of the old report so we can change here the dates and we can do it again from the 8th to the um, to the 16th of september for example let's say so we click accept now it's going to take a few maybe 30 seconds or so or, or less this is super fast to it, guys yeah, tell me. so here we have a new report that with 681 tweets impressions users is the same if you go here you is the same and then you can see here we cut it from the 9th to the 17th so we could even cut even more if we want we can clone the report several times and we can slice it several times and we have like many reports and we have even more reports so this is a way of mm, using some of the advanced features that we have in in tweetbinder so you can clone you can slice you can even merge two reports into one but before we move with uh, the um, africa tweet chat and we see more stats let me share with you guys one thing that i think is very useful i'm going to send this spreadsheet to you all because i think it's very important these are the advanced commands of twitter so we can use this advanced search in the search of tweet binder okay so we can we can for example using the the command from we can get the tweets from one person from one person so for example let's say let me go back and let's let's try okay? let's say we want to analyze the tweets sent from elon musk the boss so from that that elon musk without the ad is very important without the ad and then if we click here on new report what we are going to get are all the tweets sent by elon musk in in this case in the last seven days but you can do it in the in the last 30 i don't know 30 days uh, one year two years three years whatever you want okay so in this case elon musk has sent 300 tweets you see the color is the, this blue is different from the other one is because this is a seven day report so Elon Musk generated just himself 1000 million impressions so it's amazing it's like this is even too much you know <laughs> but you know this is Elon Musk tweeting that he has more than 100 million followers so you can do this combining combining several advanced comments and in this webinar uh, somebody asked about building queries ah, Abhishek, I'm sorry, I'm saying it's wrong. Abhishek, Abhishek uh, asks us about uh, building complex queries with Tweetbinder. You can do it, Abhishek. Uh, you can do it. So you, if you want to, for example, combine several of these, let me go back here, of these comments, you can do it. For example, you want to see uh, Bitcoin from Elon Musk, or you want to analyze an exact phrase, or you, you want to analyze an emoji, whatever you want, you can mix. There is one thing that I like a lot, is this command. Let me go to a little bit this. Retweets off. Retweets off. So imagine, I'm going to copy this. Imagine that we want to get 
all the retweets here. The last retweets from, let's do from Africa Tweet Chat, okay? So we want to get the retweets from this account, Africa Tweet Chat. Okay, I think I wrote it correctly. If you click here, new report, it's going to create a report only, only with the retweets to one account, okay? To one account, in this case, Africa Tweet Chat. This is, this is very good because this way you can see who is retweeting who. Imagine that you do this with your competitors. No, oh, um, yeah. So um, if you are, I don't know, Disney and you want to see who is retweeting HBO, you can do it with this. You can even get the retweets of one single tweet or one single user. It, it's, it all depends on what you want. Okay, so these advanced commands operators, uh, I'm going to share with you all because it's very good. You can get the replies, the retweets of one tweet. You can search by language and everything. And at the end, what you are going to get is a report like this one. Um, if we go back, let me go back to the report that we were analyzing, the Africa Tweet Chat. So one of the good things of this report is that you can see who is tweeting with your hashtag or mentioning your account. Okay, so if you go and go down here in the rankings, let me go down little by little, little by little. Yeah, Janet again. You see here, uh, for me, this is amazing. Just guys, just to share. Um, I, I don't personally know Janet, but I know she's part of the community. She's, she's amazing. But Janet is getting 42 retweets around tweets related with Africa Tweet Chat. So it's not, it's, she's good on creating engagement around these kind of things. You know, it's, for me, it's, it's not easy to get retweets nowadays, you know, and likes, she, she has a lot of likes, you know, it's amazing. So if we go down, go down the sentiment, and the, uh, you know all this, but here in the contributor rankings, what I want to show you, you, know, you all know this, you know the rankings of 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 tweet binder who is tweeting more who is uh, retweeting more who is adding more content or being retweeted you can see here also influencers like a line i don't know if i'm pronouncing the names correctly i'm so sorry but uh monchari monchi actually monchari it was in the last it was in the last uh, africa tweet chat i think when uh, i think so yeah, I, that the internet was breaking. And I, I, please guys, listen to the reply of, of the last chat, it was amazing. So here, you are going to get a lot of information. And before anybody asks, okay, what is the most important metric here in the rankings? Because you can see here a lot of rankings, who got the most replies, who got the most, uh, who is verified, who, got, who was the most mentioned account. It depends to you and your goals. This is very important, this is not a magic, a magic uh, thing that you are going to get all the answers from. You are going to get data, and then you have to use this data, and you have to analyze this data. So if you ask me, if you ask me, what I will, what I like is, let me go up a little bit, the original tweets, so people who are adding content to your hashtag, also, who is the most mentioned account, of course, because if you analyze a hashtag, what is the account really related to that hashtag? Or, for example, if you go even a little bit down, you are going to see these two rankings that are here, one and two. The first one, the most impressions. So in the hashtag, who is adding the highest number of impressions? You know, the more you tweet, of course, the more, the more impressions you will get. Okay, but who is like taking you to places, let's say, you know, who is adding the, the highest number of of impressions to the total number of impressions of the hashtag. In this case, it's Janet Egline, Africa Tweet Chat, etc. But you see here, 84,000, 23,000, 16,000. It's a lot of impressions, a lot of impressions. For me, sometimes I'm a little bit embarrassed because um, I have a few thousand followers on Twitter, but when I tweet, it's barely hundred of, <laughs> of impressions. I don't know, I didn't buy followers. but. Another metric that I want and to use a lot, or I'm sorry, that I use a lot and that I like it a lot, 
is this one. Top impression engager. So is the number of impressions divided by the number of original tweets these people send. So for example, uh, you see here again, is here Janet. Janet got 84,000 and she got 2,000 impressions per tweet, per tweet. Okay, so, and we don't, of course, we don't count retweets because retweets don't add impressions to the retweet, they add to the original tweet, you know? So, for example, if I tweet and Lady Gaga retweets me, the impressions are for me, not for Lady Gaga. Thanks to Lady Gaga, but it will be for me. Lady Gaga never re retweeted me, by the way. I wish. No? So, once you have all these people here, all these people here, there are several things that you can do with Tweetbinder. And what I'm going to do now goes beyond Tweetbinder. And this is a little surprise for you all guys. So, you know, all the people that uh, has um, a subscription with, with us, also with Tweetbinder, also has, is going to have soon, soon, a subscription to other tools in audience. Yes, yes. What, what we want you, what, what we want is to merge both both tools. And with several of you guys, we already talked about this. But what we want is to um, to take the best out of three binder, the, to take the best of some of the tools of audience, and to merge into one. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go step by step to see how you can. You can take advantage of, of everything. By the way, thank you to everybody like participating in in the in the DMs in the hashtag is in in the in Twitter. It's amazing. It's truly truly amazing. So, um, yeah, I was I was checking the the questions. Let me go later. There are several questions. I we cannot hear you in the beginning. Sorry about that. So what we are going to do, let's go step by step to, to show you, uh, to see how you can close this bridge or you can make this bridge between audience and Tweetbinder smaller, smaller. So Tweetbinder analyzes content and audience analyzes audiences, okay? So what we are going to do, I'm going to go up, we will go back to Tweetbinder after, okay? So, and what I'm going to do is to download the Excel report. Once you download the Excel report, what you're going to get is all this data, but in in Excel. You know there are some limitations when downloading uh, data from Tweetbinder because uh, Twitter rules, but it's more than enough, the 600 tweets, we can do it and it's totally allowed. So, so we, we, uh, what I did before is I download the, the, the Excel file and I upload it here to, to Google Sheets. So you can you can have access to, to this later. So what I'm going to show you here are especially one thing. We were talking about contributors and we said there are like 400 something contributors, users participating in this hashtag. So what I'm going to do is the, I'm going to show and see the list of contributors. You see here, all these people and here you can, well, there are a lot of things to be done here, but first of all, you can order. This is the total number of tweets. I'm going to highlight it. Total number of tweets, and here is the breakdown of the type of tweets. Okay, so um, if people send retweets, images, links, chats, or replies, and and uh, and text tweets, just text tweets. Okay, and the number of of uh, impressions they got, etc. Okay, so what you what you can do here. It's like you can organize, for example, by number of followers to see who is the most popular one. I I mean, some people like to do this, but, you know, once we have the impressions, why do you care about followers? You know, so if you order by followers, I will go up, you know, <laughs> I will be up, sorry. But if you order by number of impressions, as we saw before, it will be different. By the way, this report is from, let me go back, from the 1,000. 795 tweets is not from this 600 um, 600 tweets is more tweets okay so the number of impressions is, is bigger so here you can for example order by number of impressions maybe the i don't know but here we have one person with we or this one for example with 1000 followers only and with a lot of 
a lot of impressions. You know, so what you are going to see here is maybe, maybe you are going to discover interesting people. Okay, you have here our usual suspects in the in the hashtag, but you can do this with any hashtag, with any query. So um, Abhishek was asking about building queries, complex queries. You can have here all the list of people participating in those complex queries. In this case, it's just the hashtag and the, and the account. But here you can have all information. So what we're going to do, we want to analyze these people to see who they are, to see how they think. We are going to do two things. So the first thing, you can export this and you can do it in a TXT. I already did it before. And you can upload it in the first. First, we are going to go to the tool Audience Connect. So these 465 people, these are people that have been like uh, taken from that audience and upload it here. So here you have all the people and you can see their faces that participated in the hashtag since September. Okay, since September. So you see here all the people that we are talking, you can follow them. For example, in this case, this is my account. This is myself. This is my face. I know you have seen my face. But this is my face. And then if I want to follow people, what I will do is like I will click here in follow mode and I will boom, 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 boom. Be following these people. I'm going to do it. Actually, I was not following Janet with my personal account. You know, I'm going to do it. You know, and also if I see interesting people here, I can follow them. I can I can select, for example, I don't know, uh, Tweetbinder and Janet and this person and this person. And I can create, for example, a list. I can, I'm not going to block you guys, but you know, if these people will, but I will uh, block. Uh, you, we can, you can do a lot of things here because this tool, and this is very important, and I would like, um, I, I, I cannot express like how happy I, I am with this because with Tweetbinder you can analyze content and with audience, in this case, connect, you can browse your community. You know, you can see and you can order and you can see how many tweets per day they send. You can order by number of followers, for example, give me only people with between, I don't know, let's between 1000 and 8000 followers. And now we have, in this case, 147 people, you know, and I can do a lot of things here with with them as well. So little by little, you can curate your community, you can send this to a Twitter apps uh, audience as well, and create advertisement on Twitter only for these people. You know, you don't have to go to, uh, to twitter.com and select and browse and say, okay, I want people from this country. No, no, you have here. And imagine that you can export the retweeters of Elon Musk, the retweeters of any account and create an audience. So I'm going to create a Twitter ad for the people who retweets this account or this account. So you can do that. You can do that. So the possibilities are are endless. The only thing that is not endless is this webinar. So let's advance. The, the, we have here all the, all the people. And the other thing that we are going to do, you can analyze here and, and you can get more. So you are going to have access to this as well. And this is the surprise. Another thing that we can do, going to our tool that is a little bit more uh, advanced or complex, is like you can upload all these people to a tool called Audience Insights. Audience Insight is a tool that I'm so in love with as well. It's like I'm, I'm in love with a lot of tools, but in this case, this is true love, okay? But um, what I did is I got all these people and upload to Audience Insight. Audience Insight is going to give you insights on these people. So let me show you the report we can create. I, I already have this prepared, but it takes a few minutes to create it. It's just a few minutes. So I created this. Let me zoom a little bit for you so you can see. Let me, if, if you cannot see it properly, uh, you can see me now. Uh, let me go. <laughs> so here, what well, this is going, this is going to give us information on the people tweeting about the, um, the chat. Okay. So what you are going to see here is, I don't know. Um, if they are male, female, the, the age, where are they from? In this case, 60% of the people are from Kenya. 
they tweet in English. You know, I come from Spain, and when you analyze a, a, a hashtag from Spain, you don't see many people talking in English. This is very good. You guys go are much ahead of us. The top city is Nairobi, so interested in business. And here, this is also very good. This is at the segments of this of this audience. Okay, so people are either brand builders, they are digital marketing digital marketing experts, digital marketing strategy, social media marketing. So you see the kind of people participating in your hashtag. You can do this with brand, you can do this with queries. Remember, eh? uh, going to the question of Ab Ab Abhishek, so you can see all the things that you can get. And I created this two hours before the, the webinar. I went to first data, you know. I created this, and this is super fast to create. With this, if you click here, what you're going to go is deep into the um, into into the, um, the um, demographics, you know? So male, female, from where are they from? City, country, language, we said it was English, but then you have French, Tagalog, Spanish. All this information in one click, in one click. That's, I mean, no wonder why I love this tool, right? And remember, what, let me go up a little. If you go for to Media Affinity, for example, so all the TV channels these people like, you know, MBS, Canary Mugume, all, all this. So remember, if we go two steps backwards, what we did, we, we just wrote a hashtag in the tweet binder search. We just wrote a hashtag. And what we got, what we got is all this information. Okay. So let me go back again to the, to the report. Let me go back to the big one, right? So we have more, more tweets to play around. So this is the, the big report again. And uh, we have a question from Cleran or Kieran, I'm sorry, Cleran, Cleran about influencers, okay? So in audience, we saw people. We saw people, uh, what they like, they gave us some influencer people as well there. But here, what we can do, what we can do is investigate the influential people participating in our hashtag, okay? It's not in general, it's in our hashtag. People that get a lot of engagement in our hashtag. This is important. So, Claren, answering your, your question. We have we can go from here, but if we go down, sorry, we can go from here, it maybe it's uh, shorter. So, what we are doing now is like, we are showing the list of influencers of this hashtag. What is an influencer? What is an influencer? Okay, this is very important. An influencer is either one that influences a lot or somebody that influences in a lot of people. Okay, so uh, let me put a, a, an example. If, you're, if, if your market is niche, you have a market very small, you may influence a lot in a few people, 10, 20 people, but you influence a lot. Whatever you say, they are going to believe it. You know, so for us, that's an influencer as well. And on the other side, what we have is people that influence a lot, even though it's, uh, it's uh, in a, sorry, influencing a lot of people, in a lot of people. Okay, so we want to detect both. So we gave each account a score, A plus, see, from A plus to D, I think, is the, the minimum, and then you can see the impressions per tweet, okay? And it it is, the, this impressions per tweet is related to the number of followers. Why? Because you can have 1,000 followers, or let's say you can have 10, 10, 10 followers, but if you create 100 impressions per tweet, you are creating 10 times more impressions than your followers. So for us, for Tweetbinder, the way we calculate all this, you are an influencer. No question asked. Red carpet, come to our house because you are a truly, truly, truly influencer. Okay, so if you um, if you see this this list of people, you know you will find very, very interesting interesting people. Okay, one thing that um, that also we get a lot is okay. Once let me go to the back to the report. Once 
Ah, this is the infographic report, by the way. Let me go to the regular report. We have a new a new design team, which is amazing. It's not that we have a new design team. It's now that Twibinder belongs to audience. There is an amazing, amazing design team that is going to redesign all the reports, and it's going to be it's going to be great. We are talking to them like almost every day to redesign this, and it's going to be amazing. Uh, so, if you have any suggestions, please let us know. I'm going to to insist a lot in in this. So, once you see here all the stats, all the stats here, you have all the stats. What you can do is that you can click on dashboard, and here you are going to see the tweets. So imagine that you want to read the tweets, you want to go tweet by tweet here, you can. Okay, this you have here a breakdown of the type of tweet. You have 900 original tweets, no retweets, and then the retweets, you have them here, the images, the links, the conversations, conversations are replies. Okay? Also, the, the list of contributors, you can order by anything. But the important thing, let me go back to originals, is that you can create binders of tweets. For me, actually, Tweetbinder is called Tweetbinder after this, this feature. So what you can create here, there are binders of tweets containing certain words, certain words. So let's create a binder that get from all these tweets, get all the tweets mentioning Janet, okay? Our friend Janet, you know, after this, uh, after this uh, webinar, Janet, you are my friend. So uh, we are going to, to get mentions to Janet. Janet is the organizer, or, or, organizer sorry, of this tweet chat, remember. So what we are going to do is, we are going to get all the tweets within this report that mention Janet. Okay, so this is this is important to to know because right now what we are going to do is we are going to organize the information somehow. So what I'm going to put here is I'm going to put just the word Janet like this, and then this is like um, any word containing containing this word, uh, any tweet containing the word Janet is going to enter here, even though the um, the handle was at Janet uh, Machuca. Okay, so create binder, and then what what we got right now the machine is is thinking, 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 and here is the the binder mentions to Janet. Then the in brackets is the number. In this case, it's still a a question mark because we are calculating it. But here you have all the tweets. Uh, it's uh, still getting getting the tweets mentioning. Janet or mentioning uh, the word Janet, okay? I don't know if I write uh, correctly, but yes. So in this case, what we are going to get, what we're going to get are the tweets mentioning uh, Janet, but we can get a lot of things. For example, for example, let's create one, one binder with the um, word, with the word um, Twitter, okay? So give me all the tweets containing the word Twitter, it takes a while, but so I always click on add term, okay? The forms in Tweetbinder is you write and then add term, okay? And then create binder. And again, it's going to be, think, it's going to be thinking, thinking, thinking until you get the, the, all the tweets in the binder, okay? This way, if we go here, all tweets, you are going to see all the tweets and little by little, it will and the tweets will enter will enter here. For me, this is um, for, for me this is very important because if you want to organize the the information, this is the best way to do it. Actually, the best way to do it to do it because this way you are going to be able to create the information. You can you can edit a binder and you can add uh, other um, other keywords to a binder and you can organize. Here we we, we have suggested binders. There is one with the handle of, of Janet, for example. What we are going to do is like we're going to create the binder of mentions to the Twitter account. I mean, I should have written the account in the first binder, but you know, this is an, an example. And for example, the um, another one, this one, Monchari, uh, we, we are going to create a binder with the mentions to this as well. So 
we have here the mentions to Janet in Twitter. We have here the mentions to Monchali. I, I'm sorry if I don't, I'm not pronouncing the, the names correctly. But now, once we have everything organized, we can either give access to our client to this report, to read, to do whatever they, uh, they want. What, uh, what we can do, if we go back to the report, let me go back to the report. And I mean, in the beginning, nothing has changed, right? It, it, it looks like nothing has changed. But if we go down, I'm going to go down, don't get dizzy, sorry. We have, we have a, and this is amazing. This is amazing. We have a lot of, a lot of stats here. And what you're going to see here is the binders details. And this is important. This is important. Um, here you are going to be able to see, you are going to be able to see the stats of each binder, of each binder. You know? uh, we had a question, sorry, from Mark. Next time I'm going to ask for name and also country, okay? Because I would like to say Mark from, I don't know, from Texas or, or from the state. You know? Mark asked how to read the tweets of our report. Okay, we just saw it in the in the dashboard how you can read the tweets but here what you are you what you can do what you can do is to see the stats of each binder so if you have a sponsor in the in the tweet chat i don't know if you have a sponsor i think you have a sponsor google right i don't know but let's yeah we have that let, let, let's go up a little bit let's go back to the dashboard and let's create a binder with the word google okay to see, I, this is just a big jump I'm taking here, okay? So here we have seven tweets, three original and four retweets containing the word Google. Or, so imagine that you, uh, Google is our, our sponsor. We can give Google information on the impact of their brand with, along with our brand, real numbers. And, you know, we can give real numbers to to google about this so the the possibilities are are endless okay so uh, this is tweet binder in um we, we can we can go deeper in a, in a lot of things uh, here but it's already uh, it's been already almost one hour i'm going to go through the questions a little bit but just to to summarize a little bit what we have seen here and i would like to do a little recap and if you have more questions, please let me know. So what we just did today in a glance is we use the advanced commands of Twitter, these ones, to create to create a query. And the query was uh, using the advanced search of Tweetbinder to analyze either the tweets containing the hashtag Africa Tweet Chat or mentioning the, the account Africa Tweet Chat. Okay, we combined, so we could exclude retweets. We could have done so many things uh, with this query because the queries can be so complex. You know, tweets from this account mentioning this account in this time. What the, the queries can be so complex. So if you go to the to this form, we try to make it easy for you guys. So you can put here all the tweets containing any of these terms, or you can uh, delete some terms using this, this part here. But my advice here will be like, just to try this, try and try and try and make mistakes and consume your balance and contact us to put more tweets in your, to your balance, because this is the way you are going to learn how to use Tweetbinder. In, in, we, will, we will go deeper in, in, in future webinars but once we or so starting from one from one query which is africa tweet chat what we saw is we saw the stats of a hashtag number of tweets impacts real impacts real impressions very important so use that number now instead of i don't know followers instead of a lot of things then yes the the impressions the real number of impressions good question is available now on the pro reports only okay so if you're a client of Twitter, you are going to have that if you're not client of Twitter yet or part of the community you will have it soon okay but in the 
in the free report you're not going to see it um, you're not going to see it yet but you will you will don't worry you will so in this form you are going to be able to create the query once you create the query you will go to a report like this sorry a report like this one with all the metrics that we we have been talking about and just the this tweets will consume your tweet balance okay so you have a tweet balance these tweets will consume but you can create as many reports as you want and i'm going to repeat this as many reports as you want if one day it takes longer to create a report it's because the queue is very long and there are so many people creating reports and then you have to wait maybe a few seconds more it's just a matter of seconds but you can create as many as you want as many as you want with this you can create historical reports you can create seven day reports whatever so if if what you want to do is analyze hashtag use the advanced query we are going to give you those documents so you can you can play around okay and play around and then our suggestion is to upload this information to audience connect you will be connect uh, contacted to talk about audience connect soon so you will be able to do many things in audience connect to upload the audiences and to investigate the audience remember what we just saw about the audiences and then what when you go back to tweetbinder you can create binders uh, you, you can play around so much with the report so if you want to play around with a report just let us know i mean so, sorry let us, let us know but also play around because you have many things to do and and to end we had a question from antonio that we didn't cover but i this is like a leader present for the end one thing that we are going to to launch in the very next feature future is like antonio asked how to analyze trends with tweet binder okay this is a trend for us a trend is something with millions of tweets millions of tweets okay so a trend is i don't know messy the other day you know messy the other day and for this analytics you don't want the tweets you know what you want to see is the trend the chart with the number of tweets just the number of tweets and to see how it evolves during time okay so um what i'm going to show you guys now just to end the 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 webinar is one thing that we are going to launch soon one thing that we are going to launch soon that is going to give you the number of tweets per day of any hashtag of any hashtag of any query of any term okay so you understand this do you do you know who was trending yesterday on twitter it was mariah carey remember mariah carey mariah carey why because after halloween it's time almost for christmas so the song all i want for christmas is you from mariah carey i'm not going to sign stop asking me to sign the song um, from mariah carey all i want from christmas is you is trending again Mar mariah carey is trending on twitter all the time so we did one analytics of this like antonio was asking to analyze a trend on twitter and we asked twitter okay give me the number just the number of tweets mentioned in maria carey since 2010 i don't know it was 2010 or something so the result i'm going to show you the result here okay so the result is this it's oh this is very ugly very very ugly now it's better now so here what we have is maria carey maria carey was mentioned 37 million times 37 uh, 37 million times on twitter amazing right and since 2010 and here in this tab here we are going to share this for you as well is the daily tweet count of maria carey since 2010 so if we click here what we are going to see is the date the count and we created this chart and what you see here these big peaks here is this is yesterday for example this is the first of november 2023 this is 2017 this is 2019 and this is july something happened in july but again november you know again november so every november maria Carey is trending on twitter and we now we have the the proof of that so you can use this in a way 
that is that you cannot imagine. So you can see uh, mentions to queries, to retweet, to to whatever you want on Twitter, and you can put it in a chart like this one. Then we are going to release this data set for you to play. So feel free to to do it. In this way, you can see how your brand is evolving, how your your dimensions to this or that is evolving as well. And we have uh, we are going to release this in a dashboard, not in, a, in Excel, in a dashboard for you to play. But the it's again the way you use it. The way you use it is the way you want to use it. You can use it the way you want. The only thing that you have to do is like to to use this data to pursue your goals. What are your goals? To sell more, to generate leads, or whatever you want. And basically, what what I would like to to um, to understand sometimes is why you use or how you use this Twitter data so we can help you. And I'm going to to end to end now the webinar, but. Uh, this is the first of many webinars to come. It will not be only me talking, it will be my, the, the team of Twitter marketing in, in audience. But we, what we want to do is, in these webinars, in future webinars, is to count with you guys to build something great. Okay, To build something great. We want to create the best tool out there for you. We want you to use our tool. We want you to create reports. We want you to create um, I'm going to put my face now, but we want to, you to create the reports and we want you to create all the things around around Twitter data and just and just let us know what you want to create so we can build it for you. you know, if you want to have um, a report that shows the number of impressions per tweet per day, per, we can do that. Okay, we can do that. We, we are building the tool that we want. We just want to to build the, the tool that you want and that you want to use and we want to use every day. I am totally hooked actually to Tweetbinder and Audience now. My whole day is creating reports here, moving them there. It's, it's amazing the things that you can do. But the best thing is that with that data, you can improve your business. This is not a funny, a fun thing to do. No, you can improve your business and we can help you with that. Okay, so thank you. To everyone um, that went until the end of this webinar, thank you to everyone seeing the reply on on YouTube. We we it was it was a blast to have you all here. And if you have more questions, you know my my email. You can write me at any time. You can also pay me on on Twitter. But first of all, and most of all, thank you for being there. Goodbye.